Uh, well, you know, we played, we covered them pretty well, man. They shot 38% from the field. Um, you know, we followed the game plan as far as what we were going to do defensively. But, you know, we, we got back and we watched film, and it was so many things that we did wrong on, on the offensive part of our game. And, you know, we had 18 turnovers to lead to 26 baskets for them, so 26 points for them. So um, it's a lot of things that we need to clean up that, you know, just effort-related stuff, you know, nothing – that's going to take a lot of time to change. We just got to focus in and lock in on the little things. Tom, Coach Izzo talked about this team, you know, obviously disappointing to lose, but just took on the number eight team in the country, and there's a lot to build. I think yeah. taking aside the loss, there's a lot more to build on here than to be disappointed in. Oh, definitely. You know, um, I don't think anybody is discouraged from the loss. I mean, you never want to lose a game, but you can't be discouraged because, you know, you got so many young guys, man, and, you know, just, just playing in that game gave us a good feel of where we're at and, and how much we can really improve and, and how good we can really be. Have you played in so many great places? Is Madison Square just another game to you? Or is that oh, no. <laughs> no, it's special, man. I, You know, ever since I've been watching basketball, you know, Michael Jordan played and, you know, Patrick Ewing, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, some of the greats that ever played a game. You know, they all talk about playing in that arena. And, you know, for me, it's, it's, it's very humbling just – you know, being being a kid from the Bahamas and, and getting a chance to play in Madison Square Garden, it's a it's a blessing, man. It's a dream come true. What stands out to you about Kentucky? Uh, they, you know, they're young, but they're really talented, um, quick, uh, fast. They like to get up and down the floor, and you know, they force a lot of turnovers. So we just got to do a better job of taking care of the ball. Uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a fun game, man. And, you know, just last time we played them, I wasn't here. I was watching on TV. I was seeing in high school, and it was an exciting game. So I think any time we play against Kentucky, it's always going to be a fun game to be a part of. What did you see from freshmen? Coach talked a little bit about not seeing any deer in Hentai's moments with them. They came out pretty confident. From our freshmen? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, just they confident players, man. They all great players, like I, like I always say. But more importantly, you know, they're they great people. And, you know, um, Cash has got in foul trouble early in that game. Um, you know, Josh didn't play in the first two exhibition games. So, you know, he was kind of, you know, getting himself into it. And then, you know, Nick played well for us and, and Miles played well for us. So, you know, we need our freshmen. They're a big part of our team. So, you know, it's our job as upperclassmen to, to continue to give them confidence and continue to help them. Oh, yeah, you know, we got a lot of stops early in the game, and, you know, that's when we get our running game going. If we don't stop nobody, we can't get out in transition, and I think that's when we had our best when we out in transition running. Tom, does it almost feel like Miles Bridges isn't a freshman like in practice? Yeah, definitely. It's it, it been that way since he first – since I first seen him play, man. It's, you know, just even playing in the pro-am games, he was doing things and, and making plays that, you know, you see guys in the, in the league making right now. So – I don't look at him as a freshman, man, just because he's so he's so mature for for his age and, and his game and the way he plays, you know, the way he handles himself off the floor. He's just he's really mature. Is that in leadership too? Does he feel confident enough to be a leader as a freshman? I think he is. I think he can be. You know, you know, you got to be the best player. You know, he's he's the best player on our team in my eyes. So I think he can be confident in being a leader on this team. Uh, not not anymore. It was it was you know more of in the pro am in, in open gym kind of because you you just getting a feel for watching him play and, and, and playing with him. But now it's more so just you know kind of spacing the floor for him, getting in the right positions. You know because um, you know we're going to be successful with him on the floor, both ends of the floor. Everybody knows about Kentucky's uh, success recruiting. That's what Kentucky does. But I'm curious. Miles spurned him. He didn't want to go there. He wanted to come here. So for you, are you playing that up to him as a leader, getting ready for tomorrow night? Uh, man, I just, you know, I'm taking it as, you know, our last game of the season. Uh, for us, it's to just go out there and do our job the best way we can. Um, we can't worry about, you know, him not going there because he's here now. And, um, you know, Kentucky has a lot of talented players. And, you know, we got a talented freshman class also. So we just want to go out there and, and do whatever we can to get a win. 
yeah, it was high, and you know, we turned the ball over ourselves. It wasn't like they were forced turnovers. So, I think if we take care of the ball and just understand the positions we got to be in on the floor, we would do a whole better job. Coach mentioned that a lot of it is guys didn't get to play together all summer. How how quickly did that kind of the cohesion kind of come together? I guess with the team. Uh, well, it's being together off the floor and then you know translating it on the court. So, like I said, just just keep watching film. Um, we've been watching a lot of film lately and keep learning about ourselves, keep learning where we can improve our ourselves, and, you know, that's going to help us in the long run. Thanks. Thanks, Thank you. He got it.